Actor Liam Neeson, who lost his wife in March 2009, is facing another heartbreak as his nephew has died following a tragic fall. On January 16, 2019, the Belfast Telegraph reported that Taken star Liam Neeson's 35-year-old nephew, Ronan Sexton, passed away in Cushendall, Northern Ireland during the previous weekend. Sexton's death was reportedly linked to a June 2014 accident. He was said to have climbed on top of a phone box on a Brighton pier while spending time with friends and fell to the ground. According to the Mirror, Sexton sustained a serious head injury due to the 20-foot fall. Sexton, who is the youngest son of Neeson's sister Bernadette, reportedly never fully recovered. Radar Online reports that Sexton passed away while surrounded by his loved ones at home. According to the Daily Mail, Sexton's mother was finishing a specially modified house designed to help her care for her son, who was in a nursing home and who reportedly could not speak or walk after his fall, when his health took a turn for the worse. A family friend told the publication, It just adds to the tragedy really that she has been through. She had hoped to bring him home and take care of him. She's been through the mill, but the community has been rallying round the family. Our hearts go out to them. Neeson has not yet spoken out publicly about his nephew's death. Our thoughts remain with Sexton's family and friends during this difficult time. The death of Neeson's nephew comes 10 years after the heartbreaking passing of the actor's wife, actress Natasha Richardson. As reported by ABC News, Richardson died in March 2009 after suffering head injuries. Richardson had reportedly fallen while taking a skiing lesson at the Mont Tremblant Ski Resort in Quebec, Canada. She had not been wearing a helmet. After the fall, the Parent Trap star claimed she was fine and declined to receive medical attention, but emergency medical services were called by that afternoon, and she was brought to the infirmary by sleigh. Not long afterwards, she left the infirmary, signing a hospital waiver, and went back to her hotel room. Unfortunately, the paramedics were soon called again, and though Richardson was reportedly conscious when they arrived, she was said to be showing symptoms that prompted the emergency medical services to contact the hematology department at the hospital. Neeson, who was filming the movie Chloe when his wife fell, reportedly hurried to Richardson after learning that she'd been injured and hospitalized. Speaking to 60 Minutes in 2014, Neeson recalled ultimately deciding to take his wife off of life support. I just uh, told her I loved her, said, sweetie, you're not coming back from this. Neeson continued to open up to Anderson Cooper, adding, I don't know if you can hear me, but that's, this is what's gone down, and we're bringing you back to New York. All your family and friends will come. And that was more or less it. He continued to explain that he and his wife had previously promised that they would, quote, pull the plug if either of them ended up in a vegetative state. So when I saw her and saw all these tubes and stuff, uh, that was my immediate thought was, okay, these, these tubes have to go. She's gone. Richardson was 45 years old. She and Neeson had been married for 15 years and shared two children together, sons Michael and Daniel. Opening up about the impact Richardson's passing had on his life, Neeson explained, It hits you. It's like a wave. You just get this profound feeling of instability. The earth isn't stable anymore. And then it passes and becomes more infrequent, but I still get it sometimes. He noted that Richardson's heart, kidneys, and liver were donated to others in need.